Um, you know, we're going to try to pick up off SMU and then last week, uh, the things that we're, I think, doing good right now. I think we're um, playing hard, playing a lot of guys, getting a lot of experience. Um, I think we're being really balanced on offense, same on defense, utilizing some of our new packages. We want to continue to to do that Saturday. Uh, play really hard again. Hopefully we're going to have another great crowd. And, you know, it's like I said last week, you, you want to build on that success so people keep coming back. Um, you know, the things that we're obviously trying to continue to improve upon is um, turnovers. We haven't had a turnover in two games, eight quarters of football, and that's something we've been working really, really hard on. Um, it's something we've got to – we've just got to be a lot better at it. You know, to me it starts with I think our pass rush wasn't very good last week, and uh, it's got to be better, and we got to get the quarterback off his spot. You don't always have to get a sack, but you got to get him off his spot and change his arm angle if you're going to get interceptions. and. I think that's something we've got to get a lot better at. And then offensively, you know, we turned the ball over way too many times at SMU. We didn't have one last week, so I want to continue to, um, you know, to, to build on that. I think that's a, a big positive. Coach, um, again, you see, uh, whenever you guys are playing ACDC, is there anything in particular you've been eyeing that you really want to see to highlight um, really like hone in on? What's yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the, the physicality. They're um, – um, I can't say enough good things about them. They've won eight games in a row, dating back to, to last spring and, and this year. Uh, they're very blue-collar, tough team. They tackle really well. They're very physical. Uh, schematically, they're really, really sound. And so, you know, I told our guys, and you watch the film, it's just, I mean, if you look at what they did to West Texas last week, and that's a, you know, a huge rivalry game for them. And uh, they went up to Bolivar, Missouri, and, and – uh, beat Southwest Baptist. So it's just they're a very physical team, hard-nosed. And, you know, I want to see our guys match that type of intensity and physicality. Coach, last week the score was great. The stat sheet looked good. Some of those intangibles maybe the common eye doesn't see that you were really pleased with last week. Uh, consistency um, with the O-line as far as their combo blocks, who they were going to. We had quite a few busts in that. Uh, at SMU, you know, you get beat physically, it's one thing, but when you're not going to the right people. So I thought our ID was really good uh, last week. Um, the way we played the second half, I think sometimes when you have a big lead, my experience, sometimes team can have lulls and, you know, it goes into that competitive maturity we talk about. And we didn't do that. I thought we had a lot of guys that were really focused in the third and fourth quarter. And uh, we continued to execute our, execute our game plan and guys got really quality reps. Uh, so I thought they were great being able to reset mentally and come out and play really hard the uh, third and fourth quarter. Yeah. In, in terms of, obviously, you know, a lot came from the offense in this game, but a bunch of points again in the end zone. But what did you see from your defense? And is there something that you feel like you didn't necessarily do in week one that you were really happy that showed in week two? And how can you build on that going into week three? Yeah, I thought our open field tackling last week was obviously better than it was week one. Um, that that was the big thing. Number two is, is not giving up the big deep balls like we did at SMU. Uh, I thought our run fits were really good. We we did a good job for the most part of stopping their run. Again, it's just only thing from a defensive standpoint is is turnovers. And again, it's not a it's not a lack of effort. It's not a lack of, of players trying to do what it we're doing asking. And it's not a lack of coach. It's just it starts with pass rush. You got to get that guy off his spot. You got to change his arm angle. Uh, we're doing a really good job of getting after the football, the second third guy on what we call the pop strip. And uh, we just can't get that ball to come out right now. So. You know, those are the things I wanted to see better uh, from us defensively last week we didn't do. So hopefully we can uh, do that this uh, week three. All right. And then I think it's something that we've talked a little about in the past was the, the change in competition from SMU then down to Louisiana College and now coming back up again a little bit. How, how do you gauge what is not only successful, but what is your what you would like to see from your team, just knowing the peaks and valleys of the competition that you have faced? Yeah, no, it's it's what I've been saying since preseason. You know, uh, Saturday is our last non-conference game, and you know we have a plan in place. We have for three weeks an evaluation process. Um, whether it's an older guy or a freshman, you know, after Saturday we're going to make determinations on who's red shirt and who's not, basically. Um, so I just want us to continue and grow in all phases: offense, defense, special teams. Obviously, we want to win the football game. Uh, we got a huge challenge in front of us, but continue to build our identity, find out who we are. Uh, those are things that are going to be really, really important before we start conference play to have a great idea um, foundationally of, of what we can be on offense, defense, and special teams. And I, I think we're really trending in a good direction. So, 
you know, as far as who we're playing, it doesn't matter, you know, whether we're uh, playing Louisiana College or the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, you want to go out and, and execute and play at a high level and uh, not make mental mistakes. You know, if you get beat physically, you get beat physically. So uh, those are things we're, we're looking to replicate this week. Yeah, I think it's huge, and I think our guys sense that and feel that. Um, you know, they're again. I, I feel really good about our leadership and where we're at, and just identifying who we're playing this week. It's a hot football team, man. I mean, I don't care what sport. If you've won eight straight games, I mean, you've got a lot of confidence. Their coaching staff's got a lot of confidence. Um, so it would be huge to get a win at home again to get this fan base back, students back, and 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 our home crowd. Um, it, it'd be awesome. In your mind, with how well Earl Stone played in this past game, how what is the next step in your mind for him in this game? Is there something specific you'd like to see from a fundamental standpoint from him? Yeah, um, just some things we do with the check system, not to get too elaborate in it, but um, some checks that he made last week I think could have been better. Um, that's one. Situational football is, is understanding the down and distance. Uh, could have been better. But other than that, I was very pleased with his play and just his continued progression. And, and um, you know, I'll say I thought uh, Peyton Manziel came in and played really well and I've just been really pleased with his leadership and his maturity. I told him that yesterday. Just um, he, he's awesome. He's a great leader and, and we're continuing to find ways uh, that play to his strength and his skill set to help us win football games because I really believe he can help us win football games. Awesome. Coach, the, the uh, young program. Yeah. Obviously. You know, yeah, it's it's a great question. It um, they came over and worked our camp this summer, and I was super impressed with their coaching staff. I didn't know those guys, I knew who they were, their names a little bit, but never had a chance to really interact with them. Uh, I was just very impressed with who they are, their work ethic. Um, yeah, you, you look at how they play the game. They they're they're tough. They're tough guys. You know. Um, so to me, it it really starts with their coaching staff. I was really impressed with those guys. They've got some veteran guys on there that have have been around Texas football for a long time. Um, that and then just fundamentally sound. They're not beating themselves. You know, they forced uh, three turnovers last week against West Texas, uh, sniffed out a fake punt, uh, beat them in special teams. And so it just the, the fundamentals that they're implying and they're just they're not beating themselves, which to me, that's good coaching. Any update on Dobbins? Um, going to be a game time decision. Uh, he went a little bit yesterday, not a lot. Going to try to do a little bit more today. Uh, and then we'll see. I know he's chomping at the bit to get out there. Okay. Yeah. The last time you played at EC Field, which I will say last year, and how frustrating was that loss? And, and have you talked about that? Version? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I talked about it. Uh, I've been talking about it since January. Uh, I talked about it yesterday. There was a point in practice I wasn't very happy. Um, so, yeah, that's been talked about a lot. It's not that uh, you get beat. It's, it's when you're not focused, not ready to play. Uh, you don't have competitive maturity. You don't respect your opponent. You know, it's, it's just like I tell them. I know how we get when we play up. You know, there, there should be this sense of clarity that you really have nothing to lose today. And so I, I've really tried to, uh, myself and our coaching staff, really beat that home this week. And uh, it's not Saturday yet, so I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it Friday. I'm going to do it Saturday morning. I'm going to do it Saturday at pregame meal. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, my kickoff will be lathered up and ready to go. So did you get a sense that the players really took that hard last year? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. Are there any other starters besides Dobbins that you should expect to be out on Saturday? Hmm. No, not that I can think of, uh-uh. And in terms of Stone, you know, he's matching up against the quarterback last week. We got player of the week in his conference as well. So kind of just tell me what you've been telling Stone this week. I mean, you mentioned it kind of already, but what do you think his mindset is heading into the matchup? I think it's good. He's yeah. he's very mature for his age. The way he prepares, he's, uh, you know, I like it. He never gets too high, never gets too low. He's very grounded. Um, just his overall approach every day to everything he does. You know, he tries to be great in the classroom, the weight room on the field, and I shouldn't say try to, he is. Um, he's a very mature individual and just very proud of his consistent approach to how he's doing things. And what are your expectations for Saturday's matchup? 
Yeah, obviously win a football game at home, uh, play at a really high level, force some turnovers, have better pass rush, uh, be balanced uh, on, on offense. I think when we're balanced and we're able to run the football, I think, I think we're pretty good. Uh, obviously, we've got a huge challenge in what they do and just uh, utilize our playmakers. I think our coaches are doing a good job of that, of the way we shuffle people in and out, whether it's offense, defense, and then, you know, special teams. thought we did some great things last week on special teams, and I think that's something that we could build on and, and, and potentially be part of our identity is, is be really good on special teams. We've got some guys that just have a knack on kick returns, punt returns, blocking footballs, things of like that, which is, you know, exciting to us as coaches.